My name is Arzu Shevidi and I'm a Master of Applied Science at Carleton University. I'm going to talk about adaptive backstepping and non-singular sliding mode control for quadrature UAVs with unknown time varying uncertainties for American Control Conference presentation. Here is the contents. Uh, at first, we are going to talk about the preliminaries, then motivation, and what is the contribution of this research. Following that, uh, simulation results, and finally, conclusion and references. SO3 represents the special orthogonal group. V is the body frame or the moving frame. I is inertial frame or the fixed frame. And the skew symmetric matrix is described by this equation. This is the skew symmetric matrix. It is symmetric, as we can see. So what is the motivation of this research? We know that quadrators have different applications from wildfire to delivery. They can be used for monitoring, they are adaptable and uh, they can perform outdoor and indoor. They are lightweight and their mechanism is simple. So what is the contribution of this research? In this research, we are going to propose a novel control system for quadrators. The main goals are stability and accurate tracking. We reduce chattering. Chattering is the main issue of the actuator failure. Besides, uh, we avoid any kinds of singularity like kinematic singularity issues or model representation singularities because of the orientations. For example, Euler angles uh, based approach cannot capture uh, some certain angles. And we address underactuation issues. Most of the quadrators are underactuation. It means that the number of the inputs is, is fewer than the uh, output states. So uh, the UAV quaternion based translational dynamic is represented uh, by this equation. P is the position, V is the linear velocity. And the quaternion based rotational dynamic is like this. Q0 is the first element of the quaternion vector. Q is the three other elements of the quaternion vectors vector. And JM is inertia matrix and omega is angular velocity. Here is the block diagram of the proposed quaternion based control system. The desired position is user defined. So we can define the desired position, the desired trajectory, x, d, y, d, and z, d. Then uh, we propose quaternion adaptive backstepping control for the position and linear uh, velocity control. Then uh, the virtual controls uh, are generated, f, x, f, i, and f, z, by using the virtual controllers and cascaded method, we can generate the desired quaternion and desired attitude. Then we propose the attitude control, quaternion adaptive sliding mode control. By using the rotational torque, the control signal here, we can control the attitude subsystem and guarantee stability and accurate tracking. By using the total thrust, we can control the position subsystem as well, and we can guarantee accurate tracking both in position and linear velocity. The whole of the control system design, as we can see, is the closed loop control system. So the first step is to design adaptive backstepping control for translational motion. Backstepping is a well-known method to address the underactuation issue. And the adaptive backstepping control for uh, this part uh, it can handle the uncertainty and uh, underactuation issue as well. So the first step is to compute position and linear velocity errors. Then uh, we formulate the controllers to make sure uh, that it is stable and we can uh, provide accurate tracking as well. So the Lyapunov function uh, can be defined uh, by this equation. 
and then uh, we design uh, the we define uh, the desired linear velocity by using back stepping approach and we are going to guarantee the convergence of the actual linear velocity to the desired uh, values uh, by doing so we uh, define the Lyapunov function candidate as follows Finally, we designed the virtual controllers fx, fy, and fz based on adaptive uh, back stepping control. And the adaptation law is proposed uh, by this uh, update law. With this update law, the control parameters uh, will be updated and uh, we can handle uh, uncertainties, including time varying unknown uncertainties. So in theorem 1, if we consider the translational dynamics and implement the uh, proposed control with the adaptation law, then the closed-loop translational system will be asymptotically stable and the position and velocity errors converge to the zero. To prove this theorem, we, use, uh, we can use Barbalet lemma. Accelerary controls uh, can be achieved uh, by the previous step. Now we can use uh, the accelerary controls and virtual controls to generate the thrust and the attitude. Up to now, we guaranteed asymptotically stability of the uh, asymptotically stability of the. Uh, translational dynamic and uh, we guaranteed accurate tracking of the position and linear velocity errors. Now we formulate the uh, error attitude dynamic and we propose uh, the attitude uh, control uh, system. To propose uh, the attitude uh, control system, we use uh, a sliding mode control because it is a well-known method to handle the uncertainties. But here we modify the conventional sliding surface to make sure that the system, the control system is non-singular. So the proposed and the new sliding surface is defined by this equation. And the quaternion adaptive sliding mode control with this adaptation law can handle uncertainty issues and can reduce chattering issue as well. So based on this theorem, if we consider the quaternion based attitude dynamics of the UAV, then uh, implement then if we implement uh, the uh, proposed attitude uh, control, we can make sure that the attitude system is asymptotically stable and the attitude error converges to the zero uh, and uh, angular velocity error converges to the zero as well. So uh, the, the actual attitude converges to the uh, desired one. To prove this theorem, I've used Barbalet lemma and we define the Lyapunov candidate like this equation. It is based on the surface and the error of the control parameters. By simplification and substituting, uh, we can uh, find and we can prove uh, that the system, the attitude system, is asymptotically stable with the proposed controller. Here is the simulation results. The simulation is in the presence of unknown uncertainty and uh, unknown uh, time varying uncertainties. Uh, after implementation of the controllers, the position error converges to the zero. The linear velocity and the angular velocity com errors converge to the zero as well. And the thrust is in the reasonable range. And the torque or the control uh, signal uh, is a smooth without any chattering issues. Uh, and the attitude converges uh, to the desired values. And here is the 3D model of the trajectory of the UAV. The blue one is the 
proposed trajectory after implementation of the uh, control algorithm and the desired one is the red one it is the desired trajectory we can confirm that uh, that uh, after implementing the control algorithm we pro we provide accurate uh, tracking and stability now let's uh, to compare the proposed control uh, algorithm uh, to the literature one in the literature usually they use euler based uh, angular methods uh, however in this uh, research uh, we use a quaternion based approach the blue one is the proposed method in this research paper as we can see the uh, position error converge to the zero and the system is stable and we provide accurate tracking however if uh, we implement the literature approach, the approach in the literature. The system is unstable, becomes unstable, and cannot uh, handle uh, the uncertainties as well, and cannot uh, capture some angles uh, by using the Euler angle methods. So uh, by doing so, we can uh, confirm that uh, the proposed method is uh, able to handle uh, the uncertainties but uh, provide stability and accurate tracking in conclusion in this research paper we guaranteed accurate tracking we handled unknown time varying uncertainties uh, we guaranteed asymptotically stability both in position and attitude uh, we proposed a uh, non-singular uh, we proposed non-singular uh, control system we addressed under actuation limitation and finally there are some references thank you so much